Kia ora and welcome to the University of Auckland. My name is Anusha and Alex and I are pleased to welcome you on our little journey through the city campus. Yes, we'll show you some of the key buildings and main services that you may need. So let's get started. First up is Simon Street, which cuts right through the centre of the city campus. Behind me is K. Edgar Information Commons, which is where you'll find some pretty important stuff. This includes health and counselling, which is where our wonderful doctors and counsellors live, the accommodation solutions team, which is where you'll find any information regarding living in Auckland as well as flatting, and CDES, who will help with career development right throughout your time at uni. The Student Commons is also where the main study space is located, and there's a help desk on level two, should you need it. Next up is Alfred Street, where the General Library is located. You'll probably want to know where this building is because you'll most likely be spending a fair bit of time here. The library has eight floors and lecture theatres in its basement. They have specialist staff and librarians that can help you with what you're looking for, so do make sure that you use them. As a handy side note, right over here is Barracks Law. It sits on the other side of this wall. Old Barracks Wall. And it's a pretty sweet spot to hang out in between lectures. Over here, you've got the AUSA building. AUSA is the student-run advocacy that helps represent students on various boards across the university. They run a wide variety of activities throughout the year, as well as offering various support services. Next to the AUSA house, we have stairs that lead up to the student quad. The quad is a central hub where you can grab a mean feed and hang out with your friends. It's also where a lot of events happen through the year, so make sure you keep the spot on your radar. Down Princess Street is a charming building called the Alfred Nathan House. This is what the back of the building looks like, and it's where Ask Auckland is located. Ask Auckland offers a wide range of support services for when you get stuck. This includes things like paying a student fees, degree planning, sorting your campus card, and more. This is also where international students can go to get extra support or help. Right, I feel like we've given the brain a bit of a workout. So now, let's concentrate on the body. Back on Simon Street, tucked in behind the student commons in the quad, is the Sports and Rec Centre. For all you sporty and not so sporty people, this is a place to come to for group fitness classes, dance classes, use of the gym equipment and to play a variety of sports. The people here are super friendly and helpful, so if you're thinking about joining the gym, feel free to come in and say hey. Okay, stick with us, we're almost done. Just a few other key buildings that you may want to know about, like our marae and our fale. Oh, and the main buildings where you'll be attending most of your classes. For science students, that'll be here. A handy thing for you and everyone else to know is how to find a building. Here's what you need to know. The first three numbers refer to the building number and the second three numbers refer to the floor and room number of that building. Creative arts and industry students, you live here. You get your own awesome little courtyard that you'll want to make use of. Engineering, this is your home. It's easy to find because of the eye-catching neon artwork in the foyer. Business students, you're based in OGGB. This was purpose-built in 2008 and the facilities are top-notch. High Arts, you can call a few buildings in this area home, including this one right here. And Law, we haven't forgotten you. You get your own little corner of the uni all to yourself, complete with a cafe and the Davis Law Library. A special mention to the students who are part of the Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences and the Faculty of Education and Social Work will be based in our satellite campuses in Epsom and Grafton. Enjoy guys! So, that sums up our whirlwind journey through the city campus. Hopefully, this has given you a bit of an idea as to what lives where and what's on offer here. If you need any more help with anything at all, be sure to make use of Ask Auckland, your faculty student centre and the website. Uni is full of people who are super keen to help you, so don't be shy. Yep, and we look forward to seeing you at the start of the semester.